And we're back with some more Ifrit shit! Let's do this! Ifrit is fucking full! Uh, I have very little time on me. <laughs> I need to kill this guy in the time remaining and get the fuck out of this cavern. How much health does he have? Like 200, I think. No, don't attack, Quistis! I mean, that's faster than that. Just die already! Yes, good, good. Okay, I think. It... No! No! He's not dead yet! I thought that was his death. Thing. Yeah, me too. What is Come on, Quizzes, there? you will be the one! Yes! That should be it. Fuck, come on! The piece of beast shit! Oh, we'll have limit break. So when your health get down, gets down to yellow, you'll have the ability to go into limit break if you're lucky. And that should be it. What the fuck?! And what is limit break? Limit break is an ultimate power move. It's so strong, but you only have so much percent of it appearing when it's your turn. And now he's finally dead. Yes, I get it. I will join you if you give me cupcakes. I'm counting on your derby. <laughs> I have to do pick a cup of flour, add it to the, the mix! <laughs> Ifrit's card! Nice! Yay. And 20 ability points. Now we need to. Yeah, fuck shit! Okay, I don't think the time goes now. So this should be Damus. Or Aitor. Aitor. Damus. Damus. <laughs> that moves. Why didn't we name it Ace fucking Damus? No, it's Damus. Confirm. There's more time, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. I gotta go. I gotta go. What? He's going to talk now? We don't have time for this shit. But I don't think the time will go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Elements, it's good. What? Okay, so I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought you needed the time to get out of here as well. I'm stupid. But okay, I guess two minutes is good grade, right? Right. Yeah. I also thought you needed to GTFO. Yeah, that's what I thought. You needed need time to get out of here, but apparently you don't. So now we have Damus. He is so good. He has an elemental attack, young chum. So you can, uh, like, junction Blizzard to your attack. So you do ice damage, which is strong against fire. But not in the world of Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. Their fire is strong against ice. So we want uh, Damus to learn strength. No, wait, wait, wait. We want these first. Refine magic uh, from items because we're not gonna spend much time in this commentary drawing magic from enemies because that's boring to watch, right? And I want to have a little bit of challenge, so thereby I just don't draw so much from the enemies. Yeah, Crimsy, you will have Damus, and uh, that's all. So now that uh, Quistis has magic, she can equip magic to... Thunder! Yeah, but you see, nothing happens because it's too little to make any sort of effect. But what we can do is to get... Uh, give the fire to Crims. Hopefully that will increase his strength a little bit. Yeah, let's see. One more strength. Woo! Whoop -de -do. And that's it. Let's get out of here. You know, after this part, we really should hit the hay. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. like uh, 2 a.m. Oh. I'm so fucking tired also. <laughs> Why did we sort this commentary in the middle of the night? You so this, to. So this is a limit break. It's so nasty. It's nasty. Boom. Is it so fucking strong. Slime. You could have used that on Ifrit and kill him in one hit. I don't think it's so strong against him because uh, I think uh, it's um, a magic damage that he will break. And Ifrit has a lot of magic defense. Oh. Yeah. That's it's... why Blizzard didn't do much damage. <laughs> I just think about the combat. <laughs> yeah, the Blizzard didn't do any damage. Well, they kind of did. They ruined uh, so many kids' life getting addicted to World of Warcraft. Yeah, they did. 
that that's like their own fault and Blizzard's fault for making a too good of a game. <laughs> so this is the trick here. When you select a character, you have a chance to get the interplay. You see, now we didn't get it. But you can change it back and forth and you will get it. So was that intentional or not? I don't know, but it's a very good trick to always get the break. So if you want to, you can live on the edge of this game by having low health all the time and just keep on using your living breaks. It's such a fun element, I love it. No risky but high reward. What do you think about that? I think that's a good pony. A good pony! Now you know about a certain pony. And the guards are gone. <laughs> they were like, uh, screw this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like 10 minutes. What a dick! He will die so fast. Man, I need water. I mean, the white wine. No fights. No, oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bite bug. That's the name. Bite bug. Quips, just don't remember. The R1 is a trigger. Oh, you spike. Same for the Shrekho Shwakan. Renzo Kuken. Renzo Kuken. Yeah. It's so uh, weird. <laughs> That's that, so inappropriate. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's really re inappropriate. Kuken or Kilken means the dick. The, the dick. And and Rensa, Rensa means to clean. Yeah, Rens. Oh shit, Chris is dying. Yeah, Rens. That's rinsing. To like clean up. Oh wait. So it's like Rens the dick. Rinse yeah. The Kuken. Yeah, rents the dick. That's what it translates to in Swedish, kind of. <laughs> That's so inappropriate. It's not. Uh, I don't think it's intentional at all, but it's so weird. Rents the kuka. Now, uh, I did uh, a let's play on this game like two years ago, but it was like ten parts, and um, I did tell a very meaningful story about this game in the beginning and I think that this is going to be my you know new let's play that goes all the way to the end maybe and I want to tell it again so um oh wait now she's going to talk well I will I will tell it after she's done well done let's see I thought there was something else I needed to go over with you before you take the seat exam Oh yes, more talking, more explaining, uh, <laughs> taking care of your girlfriend. <laughs> this is something you have to watch out for. Shit. I know about that. Da, da, da. I know, stop with these shits. Now, change into your uniform and assemble the one F lobby. Well, shit, I'm free to do what I want. Oh, yeah, yeah, now, when yeah. I complain about the tutorials, I'm not complaining at the game. I mean, it's good that they, that they had tutorials for such an, a complicated game, but it's just, that's what I think, because I played it so much. Krims, you will draw some cure! Only four. <laughs> also, your magic stat uh, will increase how much you draw, but I think it's only for battles. Okay, so my story was that uh, the first Final Fantasy game I ever saw was Final Fantasy 4, kinda. But I never got to play it, because my brothers had it on the PlayStation 1. Yeah, uh, the PlayStation 1. Oh no, he's gone. So I never got to play it. And then they got Final Fantasy 7. You went to see his which, parents. Which, please, let me tell the story, it means a lot to me. I'm serious for once. So when they got Final Fantasy 7, when it was new, it blew my fucking mind. It was a 3D... RPG, it was amazing. I loved it, even though I was never allowed to play it at all. And so what finally happened was that Final Fantasy VIII got released on PC um, in Sweden. So what I did 
or I wished for it, and my parents bought me Final Fantasy VIII for PC. And that was the first Final Fantasy game I could play. You know, it's that feeling. Finally, I can play a Final Fantasy game, and it's the newest one, you know? Fuck yes! In your face, brothers! You're playing Final Fantasy VII, I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII, the PC. You know, that kind of good, childish feeling. Uh, so I played this game, and I loved it before even playing it, you know? I had a set mind, I'm gonna love this game, no matter what. And, uh, and that's not my only reason for loving this game. I mean, I'm an adult now, and I still love it, not just because of nostalgia, just because of how the game works, and the music, and the setting, the story, everything. I love this game for what it is as well. So, that's just a um, nice story. For me. I just became a seed myself. Good luck! <laughs> well, well, well. I became a seed. <laughs> you know, I was a seed in my dad's balls. Uh, so let's just take a quick run around in the garden so you will see how it looks like. Now, I kind of lied a little bit in that story because I was allowed to play Final Fantasy VII, but I wasn't allowed to save at all. So I replayed the first, you know, like two hours of the game many times, but I wasn't allowed to save. Yeah. But I, uh, the game was so amazing, you know, the 3D and RPG and all that, and the music, it was so amazing, so I didn't bother. I mean, I didn't let it bother me that I had to replay the same thing over and over again. It was that good. And that that's something that will never happen today. It will never, ever happen again. The game is so mind-blowingly good and new that you don't care if you just replay the two first hours. Well... It's also because I'm a kid and I lived under these limitations. Of course, I'm an adult now and I can just, you know, I want that game, I'll buy it. Well, Is maybe it? if they come up with something new like virtual reality like Oculus Rift. Yeah, but then still, I'm an adult. I can get it myself, and I can just play it but and, I mean, and like, save. If you if you like it is now, you can just play it at conventions. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. But I did that for months. I played Final Fantasy VII for months. Okay. Yeah. So that's it uh, for this part and this session because I really need to get to bed. We need to get the bed. You be gonna snuggle, walk over. You be gonna snuggle. Sex. Me. And what? No, no, no. Awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> so we will thank you all very, very much once again, good folks. Thank you so much for watching this first session, and we will hopefully continue. Yes. Yay. Yeah. yeah. So Nana, how do you like this game so far? It's good. Good. <laughs> Take care.